So, what I want to emphasize is that Revelation 14 is talking about the 144,000. This chosen group of people that Revelation uh, has been indicating, it constitutes of 144,000 plus the vast multitude. They have been set apart by God to powerfully evangelize for the Lord and so will be with the Lord Jesus on his second coming. And so it's a very important aspect to relate as we discuss on end times from the Christian perspective in studying these revelations. And uh, another thing I want you to notice over here is Jesus and first fruits. If you read uh, 14 verse 4, Revelations, it says like, these are the ones who were not defiled with women for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These were redeemed from among men, being first fruits to God and to the Lamb. There are several indications that, you know, Jesus and first fruits it is talking about. And so, if you are to start with Jesus, you read John 1 1, you will know the deity, di deity of Jesus Christ. You will understand the deity of uh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the eternal significance of Jesus Christ, that Christ is not uh, somebody who came just 2,000 years before, but in the beginning was the Word. John 1, 1 clearly says, and the Word, that is Christ, was with God, and the Word was God Himself. He was continually existing in the beginning, and is with God. All things were made through Him, and came into existence through Him, and without Him not even one thing was made that came into being. In Him was life, and the power to disturb life, and the life was the light of men. Series. So that explains about the omnipotence and transcendence of Jesus as God from the times of creation. Let us understand what is the meaning of first fruits. The meaning of first fruits to Israel in biblical times refers to the first to come in a time or a pledge or a hope of the greater harvest to follow. It's specially dedicated to God. So you will have a question who are the first fruits for God's harvest. So Israel was holy to the Lord, the first fruits of his harvest. That is in Jeremiah 2.3, if you read, just as the first and choicest uh, crops were devoted to God, Israel was God's chosen and set apart people. But the fact that Israel was God's first fruit, not his only fruit, also anticipated other peoples and nations coming to the Lord. And that's why we Gentiles have hope that uh, we also have salvation and we have got salvation thanks to the grace of Almighty Jesus. Grace and mercy of Almighty Jesus. So first fruits offering was something like, you know, uh, uh, wherein in the Jewish feast, which is held in the early spring and the beginning of the grain harvest, it was observed on Nisan 16, which was the third day after Passover and the second day of the feast of the unleavened bread. So first fruits was a time of thanksgiving for God's provision. Notice uh, the first fruits, if you refer through Old Te uh, Testament also, you can find its references in Numbers 28, 26, uh, Exodus 23, 16, and uh, Leviticus 23, 10, which says that uh, the people were to bring a sheaf of grain to the priest who would wave it before the Lord. A burnt offering, a meal offering, a drink offering were also required at the time of uh, the fruits, first fruits offering. So the first fruits, as Revelation 4 says, these were redeemed from among men being first fruits to God and to the Lamb. This is what I'm explaining here. The first fruits is a common expression found both in Old and New Testament. It's used in scripture with both literal and figurative meanings. So when Paul said, Christ was the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. You read 1 Corinthians 15 20. He was using that terminology to illustrate the fact that the first kind of fruits can be identified in scripture with the first harvest of believers, Israel, believers, Holy Spirit, and Jesus. And in their mouth was fire. So I think now you are clear with the concept of first fruits. Again, you read it, it says the 144,000 that were redeemed from among men being first fruits to God and to the Lamb that is referring to Jesus Christ. 
and in their mouth that is of these 144,000 these glorious set of people chosen by God from the foundation of times from the foundation of the world right and in their mouth was found no deceit for they are without fault before the throne of God so that is what verse 1 to 5 is talking about uh, as we saw over here I will explain to you the other uh, concepts relating to the proclamations of the three angels and uh, the reaping of the earth's harvest in the next videos so till then uh, stay safe and uh, keep praying and God be with you